My name is uh, Masood Asani. Originally, I'm uh, from Afghanistan. I was uh, born there and uh, when I was about uh, 14 years old, I uh, immigrated to the Netherlands as a refugee. So, so at the time I was 14, so I came on my own. And in the Netherlands, uh, it was uh, in 1998 or something like that. So now you know how old I am. <laughs> so then uh, I uh, started to do uh, studies and I played a lot of football and so on. And uh, recently, a few years ago, I graduated at the Design Academy in Eindhoven. And one of my projects was based on my childhood toys. So my childhood toys were in, uh, I was making them in Afghanistan when I was a kid. And they were all about uh, paper models. Uh, where we played them, there was a lot of landmines on, on, on those fields. And uh, so with that uh, idea in mind, I made a really big sculpture which is uh, wind powered, and that uh, it's actually art, but in the same time also a product. And that got a lot in the, in the, in the media attention, and we raised a lot of uh, media awareness about it, and also so a lot of people got aware about the problem landmines. And uh, so that is a, a really local uh, project, but now the next goal is actually how to get rid of landmines in 10 years. So that is uh, as fast as possible. And now it is estimated to take, uh, it's, it, it will take about 1,100 years, so more than a millennium, to take all of them, uh, because it's really hard. And uh, so in the past two years, I've been working on a systematic system, so uh, based on drones and really smart uh, robots. So it's, it is basically a drone. It's a, it's a, uh, a smart uh, drone, but it has also uh, like uh, add-ons, like robotics into, into that. So this is one of the pictures. So as you can see there, it's a really big detector hanging to, to this drone. So when it flies around, it detects landmines and explosives from, from a distance. So usually people, so they should go with a, um, with a detector on the ground. So it's a very risky uh, job. So a lot of people, they get really hurt. So, and, and this drone, it's in, in, uh, in, uh, in development at the moment. Uh, it will be finished uh, in only one or two months. This is uh, uh, also a, a prototype which works already. So it works in three steps. The first step is detection, uh, mapping. So it flies uh, on a big uh, uh, area. It maps the whole area and draws uh, a GPS uh, coordinates. And the second is then it flies really low. Then it knows where to be and, and uh, detects the areas very accurately and, and sprays with the uh, paint and tags them also with the GPS coordinates. And the third option is uh, it has also a robotic arm which puts two pins in the ground, it shocks the ground and blows landmines from a distance. So this could be done manually uh, from a distance. And uh, so the calculation is actually within 10 years, if you have lots of them in some areas, it could be done. So now I will show you uh, a video how it is done. You were mentioning they have re they can reach like uh, 50 meters, right? So I will talk along the video a little bit. This is our team. So we put a, um, a small team together of eight people. They're all engineers. So here we are discussing on table how can we develop such a thing in very fast speed. And this is all done in house. We have so we have 3D printers and uh, and laser cut and these kind of things. So, and we have uh, programmers who, who, who code the, the language of a drone and robotics. So this is our uh, workshop. So it is all done from scratch. At the moment, everything is uh, uh, open source. So uh, this is the first step, which is very interesting. So a lot of people, they can also collaborate online to add codes and to improve uh, the robotics. So this is one of the, the models that it can drop the detector to the ground and then uh, lift it back again. So this is a robotic arm. It goes in here and it uh, detects the ground when, <coughs> when the ground is a little bit not smooth, then it senses the ground. So it stays always effective. And this is the live feed. So it is GPS uh, feed when it flies around. It, you see actually what's happening in, uh, in real time. So we have done all this uh, for a presentation. The organization is called DCA. So it's an uh, NGO in, uh, in Denmark. So 
So we went there to present that uh, there were like uh, 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 17 countries that they uh, worked on field to demine, and all their representatives, uh, they were there. So this is the first mapping with the camera. There's a camera on board. It, it visualized the whole area. So this is the second step. So they are they're pretty stable actually. So, and usually they were first they were complaining it's not going to happen, it's not going to work because you have to be very stable. But they are. So we saw here only a few prototypes, and there are more. Uh, we, are, we are developing a few more, and in the next uh, month we are also launching again a Kickstarter campaign. We have done this also before for the for the another. Uh, which was the, the wind-powered version. So we needed uh, at that time to do more research about it. So now we have worked on this project for almost two years. So it's now the next step to fund it again. So in October, uh, we, we also present the, the final models and during Dutch Design Week, it is uh, uh, from 17 October. And then we launched the next uh, campaign. And the, the, our main goal is to get rid of landmines in only 10 years. Thank you. <laughs>